themselves the Blackpool Illuminaries. Taking their name, of course, from the famous Blackpool lights and illuminations. Well, I'm sure they'll be able to uh, shed quite a lot of light on many of the questions that we're about to ask because we start a whole new game with round one team challenge. So, teams, if you're ready and you have your fingers on the buzzers, let's play. In parliamentary usage, what does to cross the floor mean? Steve? To uh, change parties. Correct. Who was King Arthur's father? Steve? Uther Pendragon. Correct. On which mountain in Dakota are profiles of four American... David. Mount Rushmore. Correct. Who succeeded Dame Ninette de Valois as director of the Royal Ballet in 19... David. Ashton. Correct. By what name is Iron Pyrite better known? Steve. Fool, fool's Gold. Correct. In which country do 100 dinars equal... Steve. Yugoslavia. No. Incorrect challenge. Bonus point to the opposition. Full question. In which country do 100 dinars equal one real? Too late, it's Iran. What word meaning scrub or bush is used to describe the French underground in world? Janet. Lucky. Correct. Which two planets are missing from Gustav Holt's planet suite? David. <coughs> Pluto and Neptune. No. Too late, it's Pluto and Earth. What is the chemical formula for common salt? David. NaCl. Correct. Who is the primate of England? Steve. The Archbishop of Canterbury. No. David. Archbishop of York. Correct. What does a doctor mean by suturing? Steve? Um, uh, in putting a tubing. No. Janet? Stitching. Correct. Ha <clears throat> and at the end of that round, the scores read like this. The Blackpool Illuminaries have eight, Carrick plus one have nine. Well, it's close, isn't it? But that one point is enough to mean that uh, Carrick get first choice of putting a member of the Blackpool team into the spotlight. So, Carrick, who will you choose, please? Will of Tony, please. Tony, up on the board, you have six subjects. They are cinema, potpourri, classical music, pop music, sport, history. I'll go for pop music, please, Angela. Pop music to be your... Spotlight subject, which means that you're on your own for one minute, Tony. So if you're ready, your time starts. Now, which cartoon star provided a top ten hit for the coasters? Pass. Charlie Brown. Who had a hit with Lady Marmalade? Jimi Hendrix. La Belle. Derek and Alan Longmuir were members of which band? Pass. Bay City Rollers. Who took Wooden Heart to number one in America? Elvis Presley. Joe Dole. Tom Hark and Zambezi were hits for which band? Pass. The Piranhas. Who claimed ain't nothing going on but the rent? Pass. Gwen Guthrie. By what name is Terry Nellums better known? Adam Faith. Correct. On which Beatles album, album did the long and winding road originally appear? The White Album. Let it be. Who replaced Diana Ross in The Supremes? Pass. Gene Terrell. With which single did Freddie and the Dreamers top the American singles chart? Pass. I'm telling you now, who wrote Jerry and the Pacemakers' first two number one singles? Lennon McCartney. Mitch Murray. In 19... It's still yours. In 1971, who said, I did what I did for Maria? DJ Pro. No, it was Tony Christie. Tony, at the end of that round, you've scored two points, so your s team score is now ten. Blackpool, would you like to choose a member of the Carrick team, please? Uh, we'll choose Janet, please. Janet, up on the board, you have cinema, potpourri, classical music, sport or history. I'll have to try potpourri. Potpourri to be your spotlight subject. So you're on your own for one minute, Janet. If you're ready, your time starts. Now, what rank did Leonard Cheshire attain in the RAF? Wing Commander. Group Captain. Ethel, Lionel and John were known as the Royal Family of the American Stage. What was their surname? Barrymore. Correct. What is the title of Browning's poem which begins, Oh, to be in England, now that April's there? On the Thoughts from Abroad. Correct. Which British explorer was leader of the Commonwealth Transantarctic Expedition in the mid-1950s? Shackleton. Vivian Fuchs. What word with a military flavour is derived from the Urdu word for dusty? Khaki. Correct. HNO3 is the chemical formula for which acid? 
No idea. Nitric acid. Who was the singer who was presented with the Burma Star in 1985? Verlin. Correct. Which cartoonist first dubbed Harold Macmillan as Supermac? Giles. Vicky. How many grains are there in a scruple? 100. 20. Which word, originally meaning a freebooter, is now applied to a tactic for delaying legislation? Pass. Filibuster. Which television personality? It's still yours. Which television personality had a chart hit in 1956 with Shifting Whispering Sands? Don Estelle? No, it was the most unlikely gentleman, <laughs> Mr. Eamon Andrews. <laughs> ja <laughs> Janet, at the end of that round, you've scored eight points in the spotlight, so your team now has a total of 17. Well, with the score lines reading 10 to Blackpool and 17 to Carrick, we're going to play in a spin. So I'm going to say to the computer, spin the letters, please. S is the first letter of the sequence and is the first letter of your word, followed by O and N in that order. Your 30 seconds starts now. Time is up, teams. Would you put your pencils down, please? First of all, Blackpool, how many letters in your word? We have 15. Thank you. Carrick, how many letters are there in your word, please? 17. Thank you. Blackpool, could I have your word, and would you spell it, please? Our word superimposition. I've spelt it S-U-P-E-R-I-M-P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N. Thank you. Carrick, your word, and spell it, please. Superstitiousness. S-U-P-E-R-S-T-I-T-I-O-U-S-N-E-S-S. -E -S -S. Thank you. It's amazing what you can do with three little letters, isn't it? S-O-N, Sun, has produced 15 letters in superimposition from Blackpool, 17 letters in superstitiousness from Carrick. Both words are absolutely correct. They've both been spelt properly, but as always, the longer of the two words picks up the five bonus points. So Carrick now has a score line that reads 22. <laughs> and we return to another spotlight round, and this time Blackpool get first choice, and they can put either Michael or David into the spotlight for Carrick. We'll have Michael this time, please. Michael, would you like to choose from cinema, classical music, sport or history? Try sport, please, Angela. You'll take sport as your spotlight subject. If you are ready, Michael, your one minute starts. Now, which was the first British football club to win the European Cup? Celtic. Correct. Which horse was Lester Piggott's first derby winner? Never say die. Correct. Name the brother and sister partnership which won the 1980 Wimbledon mixed doubles title. Austin's. Correct. What animal named Hodori is mascot for the 1988 Olympics in Seoul? Uh, pass. It's a tiger. Lansdowne Road is a well-known rugby venue. In which city is it located? Dublin. Correct. For which county does cricketer Alan Lamb play? Um, North Hans. Correct. Where in the United States were the 1980 Winter Olympics? Um, Lake Placid. Correct. What was boxer Sonny Liston's real first name? Charles. Correct. What do the initials Sanrock, S-A-N-R-O-C, mean? Pass. South African Non-Racial Olympic Committee. With which sport do you associate the Waterloo Hotel in Blackpool? Um, Corsi. No, Crown oh. Green Bowls. In 1972, Lassie Viren won the 10,000 metres Olympic title in world record time. Why was this unusual? <laughs> you may still answer. Um, because he had... Um, Fallen in the heats? No, he didn't fall in the heats, Michael. He fell over halfway That's through right. the right. actual race. Sorry, and you did say the heats. It wasn't. It was through the race itself. However, at the end of that round, you have scored 14 points on the spotlight, so your team now has a total of 36. <laughs> Carrick, would you now like to put either Steve or David into the spotlight for Blackpool, please? We'll have David, please. 
David, would you like to choose from cinema, classical music, or history? Can I have classical music, please. And that will be your spotlight subject for one minute, David. So if you're ready, your time starts. Now, who composed the Christmas Oratorio and the Goldberg Variations? Bach. Correct. What nationality was the soprano, Dame Nellie Melba? She was Australian. Correct. In which opera is Silvio murdered in the last act? E. Pagliacci. Correct. Where was Handel's Messiah first performed? In Dublin. Correct. How many animals are represented in Saint-Saëns' Carnival of the Animals? Nine. Fourteen. In which of Haydn's symphonies do the instruments stop playing in turn until at the end only two violins are left? The Miracle. The Farewell Symphony. Which comic opera was originally <clears throat> entitled Alma Viva or The Fruitless Precaution? The Barbara of Seville. Correct. Who was knighted in 1950 and made Master of the Queen's Music in 1953? Malcolm Williamson. Sir Arthur Bliss. Which poet's work was set to music in Holst's Choral Symphony? Pass. Keats. Who composed the La Lisienne Suite? Gizé. Correct. In which opera by Donizetti did Sir Geraint Evans make his farewell... <coughs> it's still yours. In which opera by Donizetti did Sir Geraint Evans make his farewell appearance? Don Pascale. No, it was Le Lzir d'Amour. David, at the end of that round, you have scored 12 points on classical music, so your team total is now 22. <laughs> well, we've come to our final round in this game this Friday. Team challenge, it's called. Let's take a look at the team scores. Blackpool Illuminaries have 22. Carrick plus one have 36. There are still a lot of points to be played for, so teams, if you would like to put your fingers on the buzzers, and you are ready, let's play. Who recited odd odes after telling you to Steve? Cyril Fletcher. Correct. Where was the land of Nod in relation to the Garden of Eden? Tony. East of Eden. Correct. In French towns and cities, what does it mean if a street is sans unique? David. It's a one-way street. Correct. Which English author and critic described a fishing rod as a stick with a hook on one end and a fool on the other? Too late. It's Samuel Johnson. What is ochlophobia? David? A fear of wearing glasses. No. Too late. It's a fear of crowds. Who provided thunderbolts for Zeus? Michael. Um, Artemis. No. Too late, it's Cyclopes. Itmar was a popular radio program. David. It's that man again. Correct. Amongst the mystic substances sought by alchemists was the alkahest. What was this believed to be, David? The Philosopher's Stone. No. Too late, it was a universal solvent. Which former MP nicknamed Mrs. Thatcher the Blessed Margaret? Janet. Norman St. John's Davis. Correct. Well, at the end of that round, we end up with a scoreline that looks like this. The Blackpool Illuminaries have 28, Carrot plus one have 40. <laughs> so our congratulations to Carrick, who have now won two games in a row and become bronze medal winners with an accumulative score of 93 points. It means that when we return on Monday, they'll be coming back too to meet another trio. But uh, Blackpool Illuminaries, I'm afraid you didn't make it past the first round, but never mind. I hope you enjoyed being with us. We certainly enjoyed having you with us. But before we leave you this uh, Friday evening, let's take a look and see what's happened now after four weeks of Master Team to our leaderboard. So we have four bronze medalists, Ron's Raiders from Kent on 79, the Multiple Choice from North Yorkshire on 85, the Heathrow Mushrooms who have 90, and uh, tonight's winners, the Carrick Plus One team who have an accumulative score of 93. Just above them, the Griffin Grapplers, silver medalists with 108 points, and the Farm Hands from Hull with 123 points. Now it's quite likely that uh, those silver medalists will perhaps be with us in our quarterfinals, which we start in December. But definitely the gold medalists will be here. They are the Hoyland Stars from Barnsley with 188 points. And top of the league so far, the Master Cutlers from Sheffield with an accumulative score of 197 points. That then is our leaderboard to date. But of course, next week, I'm sure there'll be new names going onto that board and indeed more gold medal winners as we meet more teams who come to play Master Team 87. Hope you have a great weekend. Remember to come back and join us again on Monday. Till then, from all of us here in the studio, bye-bye. <laughs>